It is the first day of autumn, and you know what the first day of autumn co calls for? That's right, it calls for a cosy vlog, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So today's mission is to just get all the autumn vibes. I suppose if you're from another country, you might call it fall. For some reason, England likes to be a bit extra, and we call it autumn. Don't know why that is, have no clue in fact. But I am actually making some Kinder cookies right now because if you've been watching my vlogs on here, you'll know that my friend was imminently due a little baby and she's had the baby! I met it the other day and it was so stinking cute. Um, it was just absolutely so adorable. Um, and I'm going there today again. So I'm making some Kinder cookies because I know they like these. Um, and I just think who doesn't want a Kinder cookie? when they've just flipping birthed a child into this world and they're not getting any sleep. So I feel like Kinder Cookies are the best medicine. Um, and I feel like we're just gonna see where the day takes us, see where all the, oh no, a little bit just fell off. I'm gonna have to take one from another. Also, I haven't had breakfast yet because I went to Tesco's just now and I bought something which I really have been in the mood for. Normally on a Saturday morning, right, I have my little routine and I get the chocolate croissant of all chocolate croissants. You know the little ones that you get from the bakery bit, which are like chocolate hazelnut? So they have the little dots on top. They're my ultimate chocolate bit. Oh, I just love them so much. And normally on a Saturday, I get one for myself and I have it with the hot water, it's my little routine. But I didn't have it the past Saturday because um, I didn't get any. And I've been thinking about it all flipping week. So I went and I got the prep frozen ones, which are a bit lavish, they are, but they're so flipping good. Also, what is it about chopping chocolate that is so satisfying? Also, this Kinder chocolate in particular is very satisfying to cut. Oh gosh, I am hungry. I never normally go this long without brekkie. I'm a bit humbly in my tumbly. Let me tell you that for free. So flipping satisfying. I needed exactly 125 grams. And this little bag of light brown sugar had exactly 125 grams left. I've just reread the recipe. And now she needs 100 grams of light brown sugar. I was looking at how much butter we needed, which was 125 grams. So Looking stupid. Here are the little Kinder balls, all measured out to 80 grams, and they go in the freezer for half an hour. Okay, so the little croissant thing that I was just talking about, in case you wanted to buy it, are these the prep chocolate filled. Do you see what I mean? They've got like the dots on top, and that is the key. They also do plain croissant ones because I know some people, some weird people in the world, don't like the chocolate filled ones. What's that about? I got my croissant. I think it's still a bit hot actually. I did cook it in the air fryer, so it's probably not its optimum shape. I feel like, I don't know. And I've got hot water obviously, um, because that is, as much as I've tried many other drinks, I've tried the matches, I've tried the coffees. I think I've come to accept that I don't like anything else. And hot water is the main bay. The little cookie wookies are done! Seeing as it's autumn, I did a little order and I ordered some boots because I have my Doc Martens, obviously, which are very tried and tested and I love them and I literally wear them all the flipping time. But I don't have any smart shoes for when, like, there's a dinner. I mean, not that I go to any dinners, but, you know, maybe an afternoon tea. So I bought two different pairs. Um, and I'm gonna see how they are. Oh, I like these. Okay, a boss. Also, they don't look too big. The problem is because they've got big feet. They look like little trotters on there, actually. Let's try them on. Oh, these ones I'm not so sure about. Oh, I feel like they're gonna make my feet look really big. Oh gosh, they're quite small. Oh, hang on, I feel like you can't fully see. They are too small for me, which is so annoying. But I'm like bending my leg right now to try and they're way too small. See, these are way too big. Oh, these are no, absolutely not. No. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, whatever. Right, I am all ready to go to my friends now. We're gonna go drop off that return very quickly because obviously nothing flipping fits. All looked exactly like the picture. So I'm gonna do that on my way.
Um, I've just put the washing machine on because I'm very much needed to wash my bedding. I've gone, gone a little too far with it, you know, and you're like, oh, but then the timing of it. Like washing your bedding is actually a real, a real commitment because Banksy, Banksy is being a real nuisance this morning. She just keeps running around my feet. Excuse me. This must ha be how parents feel. You know when your children are naughty, but you still love them so much. So, oh, I'm zooming in. Okay. And I'm actually going to do a little butternut squash moment this morning. Butternut soup. Very autumn. It's also raining. Yeah. So what I'm going to do this morning, have the big old big boy here. And I think I'm just going to slow roast it in the oven um, to get all the flavours out. Mm. And then we can make an absolutely fantastical soup. Doesn't this butternut squash have veggie tails energy? Like it really looks like, you know when sometimes vegetables really look like the characters in veggie tails? I don't know if anyone remembers it. I remember veggie tails so much. I'm so blue. Hoo, 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 hoo. I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. This could be an issue. I think we do need to invest in new knives. I know you guys are always telling us it. We actually sharpen our knives and everything, but they're just really bad knives. I think today we should try Starbucks have a few new drinks. And I feel like we should try them because I just feel like that's an essential part of autumn. Um, and then we need to work out what other autumn things we can do. I don't know what's autumn-y. Carving a pumpkin? But I don't. I haven't seen any pumpkins in supermarkets. <gasps> do you know what is autumn? Going and looking at all the autumn snacks at M&S. Should we do that as well? Oh gosh, this is turning into a really good day. Look at my soup! I'm gonna leave it to cool because I need to get ready because I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go and try the new Starbucks drinks, and I'm gonna tr go to M&S. We're just gonna have a good moment. I need to start my hair because these plaits are from yesterday. The thing is, it's gonna be really crinkly. My hair's gonna be. Very, very crinkly. Right, I've just been to the old fave MNS and I think I'm going to go to Starbucks now and pick up. I've seen that they've had a new maple drink, so that's a bit fun. Guys, we have retrieved the maple drink and a new one that they have that I've don't even know what it is to be honest with you, so I'm gonna to have to read the label. So I'm gonna go back and try that. I really need a pee, but I didn't think that through because I've got these. So I'm like, do I pee? Or but I don't want to carry these in the toilet. Do you know what? I'm gonna drink these and then pee because it's gonna fill me with only more liquid, isn't it? So it's time for me to thrive, basically. I went into MS and I all the Christmas stuff is in. I did damage. This is really feeling autumnal, guys. I'm really getting in the vibe. Um, and I went to Starbucks and I got their two drinks that they've brought out this autumn. Oh, there's someone walking by, but we're just gonna pretend that they're not even there. Like, they're irrelevant to us. We are in our own lane. We need to focus on what we're doing. Stop worrying about what other people are doing. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so the first one we've got here is a maple iced salted maple and caramel latte. Salted in a drink. Not really what I'm thinking is gonna be delicious, but we're gonna give it a go. That is very coffee -y. crikey, son of a nutcracker. There's also like these little biscuits on top. <sighs> That's punchy. You know what, the flavor's actually quite good in that. I think my dad is gonna love this. Look, all the biscuit has fallen to the bottom. You know what, the flavor's actually quite good. Mm. It's just a bit of coffee. I know I should stop having coffee because I've just established I don't like it. I thought that that would gonna be like maple. I didn't think it was actually gonna be coffee. I didn't, mustn't have read it properly. Whereas this drink that I'm about to have has no coffee in it whatsoever. This is, oh, you idiot. Oh no. That serves me right. That does. I've just spilt that flipping spice latte all over my car. What an absolute plonker. It literally turned upside down. Okay, fine. Absolutely fine, not a problem. Actually, it is a problem. I just got rid of the smell of olive brine. The other day there was this massive jar of olive. The lid was off in the 
well of my car and the whole jar of brine like it was one of the big jars was just pulled at the bottom of my car and i've just got rid of that smell so now it's gonna smell like coffee well, it serves me right. Don't get coffee, Grace. This is your lesson. You don't like it. Let's move on. All right. Here we have the pumpkin spice frappuccino, which looks very autumn. Um, I don't think I had this one last year. I think we should. It smells good. It does. The smell. Mm. Do you know what? It's, it's kind of like a carrot cake has been blended up. Do they put coloring in or is that the pumpkin that makes it orange? I like it very sweet i don't think i could do this whole thing to be honest with you i like it and i think it looks it really fits the brief of autumn like it really looks like autumn do you know what i mean and that's really good look at this i'm going to show you this absolute devastation that is in my car right now i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it can you can you see everywhere look at that look at that pool of coffee oh well good job i actually went to go and get my car clean today a good job I didn't because um that would have been a waste of money so that's probably something I should do this weekend this has clearly fallen out of the person's next to me car and it's fully like sealed and I want to take it home with me because I don't want it to be thrown away but then what if the person comes back for it I'm just gonna leave it there for them I never trust these sorts of locks I don't know to trust it. Do you think it's that time in the year when I need to start stocking up on the Christmas cupboard? Don't know if anyone else has a Christmas cupboard, but basically it's a cupboard for all the Christmas food that like stays in date until Christmas, if you get what I mean. Um, so that's what I did <laughs> in like the front So we're gonna do a little haul. These turkey feast combo mix. Now combo mix are for me, one of the like top five crisps. I love the ready salted combo mix. So I'm intrigued by the turkey feast, see what they're like in comparison. Then we've got, these look fantastic, chocolate orange cookies and cream biscuits. So it's like coated, it's like a coated Oreo, but it's chocolate orange. I think these look sublime. Mint, Colin the Caterpillar places. I think that that will be fun. Um, we've also got on the theme of mint, Mint um, snowballs. I love these snowball things. Cadbury's do some. They're like the white chocolate balls. But I don't know what they're going to be like in mint. Um, mint's very touch and go, isn't it? Because it can either be really good where it's like mint chocolate chip ice cream or it can taste like toothpaste. So I don't know. And this, I cannot wait to crack into this. This is such a bit of me. First of all, lovely, gorgeous tin, which you can put all your Christmas festive snacks in. But in the here, it's got my milk and white chocolate popcorn, salted and dark chocolate pretzels, which I love chocolate pretzels. And then it's got milk chocolate peanuts and caramel almonds. That looks good. I think that's a really nice gift as well. This is not an ad. So you know, I do, I would tell you if it's an ad. I'm just passionate about snacks, all right? Gigantic chocolate orange buttons. I actually think I might give these to my friend who loves chocolate orange. I don't know if you're watching. You know who it is. I'm looking at you. And then the last thing is really rogue and I don't think these are going to be nice at all and I don't know why they've done this fruit flavour player, flavour pairing. I can't speak today. Flavour pairing. Strawberry and mint flavour gums. I don't know what that's about, but we move anyway. So I need to find the Christmas cupboard. I don't know where my mum's going to put it. Every year it's got a different location. Um, but we used to have like a little cupboard over there and we went in there and I cannot see the cupboard. Right, now we must put on our bedding. Um, I hate putting on bedding. It's one of those tasks that short term loss, long term gain. In the short term, such a faff to do, but there is nothing better than getting into a bed that is freshly washed and freshly made. Man, if I could have that every day, do you reckon people like the Kardashians do? I feel like I've asked that before on my channel, but I feel like, I feel like it's the sort of thing that if you were rich, wouldn't it be so nice to have like fresh bedding every day? It's hot, it's like a full blown workout. I'm already getting puffed out. Honestly, I should put some gym wear on for this because it's like a last one, last corner, guys. If you are doing duvets, I told my friend this and she had never done it before. Put your duvet inside out and get both corners. I know this sounds like I'm teaching you to suck eggs, but some people don't know. Put your duvet inside out, two corners like this, then you grab one corner and add it to one corner. You grab the other corner 
add it to the other corner. You just flip the duvet, give it a little shaky shaky, and boom! You don't have to forage inside. You know, normally like you have to find the corner, put it with the corner. So much easier. And then you just have to button up. So bada boom, bada bing. Ta-da! I actually prefer to half lay my bed because I like getting into a cold, crisp bed and warming up instead of getting into a hot bed and then being far, far, far too hot. 